Hello best friend and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having your I want to tan. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you all with oh I welcome you all with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. So why don't you grab a snack and a drink, hit that subscribe button, um, because today is something that I actually decided to start. Um, you guys voted. I gave you the option to vote for which, for one of my videos and the subject of one of my videos. And you guys chose a story time. So I'm gonna do this every once in a while, because I think it's really cool that you guys kind of more interactive, you know, more into look how gorgeous the blue is, by the way. This island has so many different color blues. The ocean, it's absolutely stunning. Um, but yes, best friend, so I gave you guys the option and you guys chose a story time. So this island, if you guys didn't know, I feel like I'm like in the um, travel, uh, cha <gasps> travel, what is that? Oh, that's the crab from the other day. I feel like I'm in the uh, travel uh, channel, whatever it's called. Anyways, so you guys know on this island, I shared a lot of firsts. You know, I grew up here. I, I, I've come here for Christmas and summers my whole life. My family lives here. My mom lives here. Everyone lives here. And so I had a lot of firsts here and I've been doing this kind of series with you guys. Um, so... I was like, okay, let's just go. So this story time is something that I've actually never shared because two things. One, to be very honest, I kind of like blacked it out, you know? And the other one, the other reason is because I made a promise that I would never talk in detail about this person but I don't have to say his name nobody knows his story so how are they going to know it's him so some years back uh, I was I met this guy a friend shout out to Oliver met him he was amazing um, this was around the time I was taking care of my grandmother, so I desperately needed some kind of company, right? Like, I needed a friend. I really did. And he was amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Well, he started kind of taking me out, you know, as friends. And we would just be like, you know, hanging out and chilling and whatever. And there was this guy who he knew and this guy was actually or is still a very well known I would say famous reggaeton star reggaeton is you know the style of music and reggaeton usually unfortunately is still very something called machista right it's still very like uh it's a very dominated by like men, right? And then women, but there's not really any like gay, you know, reggaeton stars. I think there's like maybe one or two, which sucks, but that's the reality of it. Anywho, so we met at this like party and he was with like 20 people. One thing about me, best friend, with famous people, I just don't even think twice. Like, it means nothing to me if I'm being very honest. Um, and plus, I didn't know who he was. My friend had to tell me that because I'm not, you know, a big reggaeton fan. Um, and, you know, this guys he's pretty famous. He's still pretty famous, actually. Um, anywho. So I met him at this party. He has around about 20 people around him. Everybody is just... Everybody is just kissing this guy's ass okay let's call him what should we call him let's call him 
Mauricio. So, Mauricio, all right? He had 20 something people around him. I was totally not ignoring, but I just, A, I didn't know who he was and B, he always seemed busy. So I was like, whatever. So anyways, I'm there. I'm, you know, trying to kind of like be social and all of these things. And all of a sudden, you know, my friend says, oh my God, there's, there's Mauricio. Let's go up to him. I know him. He's like a friend. And I was like, okay. So we go up to him and, um, he introduces me and I think Mauricio expected me to like fall on my knees and say, hallelujah. I met him. Right. I did not do that. Girl. And I was just honestly like, I don't know. I was just happy to be out of the house. So I, I was really wasn't paying attention. One thing about me, best friend, is that I, when I go out, I'm just like in my own world. I'm there to have fun. So I'm not paying attention. Well, the whole night, you know, he was like popping bottles and all these things. So I go outside and I have a cigarette because you guys know I used to smoke. Having a cigarette and he comes out very like, you know, without anybody, which was great. Um, and he said, can I have one? I said, sure. And he goes, so you obviously don't listen to reggaeton music. I was like, no, I don't. But I heard you're like super uh, talented and famous. So, you know, like congratulations. <laughs> He goes, yeah, you know, um, I have a concert in a couple of days. You should come. Maybe I can convince you to like reggaeton. And I was like, yeah, sure, of course. So that's about it. He invites us to the concert and my friend does text me the next day. And he's like, hey, so Mauricio randomly texts me and asks me if we were going to his concert. And I was like, okay, cool, let's go. My friend from the beginning was like, that's weird because Mauricio was like make sure you know he was like so are you in the American coming and my friend Oliver was like yeah I guess so anyways the day of the concert comes and I decide to get a little drink before going meanwhile in my mind I'm just going to a concert I don't know nothing about him I didn't get a vibe nothing absolutely nothing best friend so anywho I go there, we go to the concert, uh, we didn't, he didn't give us VIP or anything, he gave us like, just like very, like, I would say like we were like in the third, fourth row, which was, I mean, it's pretty cool. There was like, there was like, there's a lot of people. He goes, performs, and I'm just, you know, like, I don't like reggaeton, right? Well, I, I like some, but not like all. So anyways, his music was pretty cool. He was performing, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Anyways. So there's an after party. And the concert was like an hour and a half. I did get up twice to get drinks. Because quite frankly, like, I'm a pop girl, right? I love pop music. I appreciate all music. But after like 20 songs of like partying and having sex with girls. And, you know, like talking about girls' asses. I'm just like, I'm over it. You know what I mean? Like talk about something else girl seriously talk about asking a girl on a nice date like you know what i mean but anyways girl that reggaeton for you so we go to this after party and this is where it starts getting juicy we go to this after party he's there with this girl she's all over him he's all over her everyone is all over each other you know i'm over here just you know buzz because you know i drank in the concert and we were drinking there so it was it was fun i have to say and anywho, one thing happened like that night that I still don't really comprehend. I don't have a clear memory as to how we started talking, best friend, because I have to tell you, like, a lot of these stories that I tell you is because, like, I remember, and I'm very detailed oriented, but this one in particular, I'm not sure how him and I started talking. But we did. So I do remember at some point in the night sharing a cigarette with him. But I don't remember how we got to the cigarette part. Okay, so I'm so sorry, girl. Your friend was blacked out. So I do remember standing outside having a cigarette with him. And I do remember now, like,
like in my mind having the feeling that he might you know be someone that you know that you know he might be someone that we could potentially hook up right so we go to we go to hang on where was I so in this moment in my mind I already have it in my head like okay this could be something right so next thing you know we're smoking and we're enjoying each other's company and he asked me where I lived and I remember that night is a little blurry but I do remember that he actually ended up taking me to my house so that I do remember that's basically like the only thing I remember from that night but now the next day I remember everything so I remember waking up and I had all these missed calls from Oliver and he tells me hey what happened last night again I remember feeling super blacked out like I don't remember shit so he tells me he fills me in that I was like all over this guy that his entourage was getting super annoyed with me and that I was actually removed from the the table because apparently I was like too close to Mauricio so in this moment I'm fucking mortified right and he says then all of a sudden you disappeared and so did Mauricio so his entourage was like joking that I like kidnapped him or something mind you this guy was like 10 feet fucking tall I could barely like lift him if I wanted to girl girl that's why I'm a bottom bitch I don't do the heavy lifting okay bitch anyways <laughs> TMI anywho so I'm mortified but then I get a call oh oh my god like a lizard or something what the fuck is that it's like fucking Jurassic Park hang on bitch can you guys see it over there oh my god of course now that I went up here you're there but thank god you're, you appeared when, when I came here because I would have ran anyways so I get a call from I get a call and it's him and he says hey did you get home safe and I was like yeah, thank you for bringing me, by the way. They think I kidnapped you. And he goes, ha ha, yeah, no, it's like, a, it's like a joke thing, right? And I said, well, did you tell them that you're okay? And he goes, yeah, but do you not? He's like, but how do you feel? Like, are you okay with everything? Like, you know, do you remember? Like, do you remember? He kept saying, do you remember? And I, one thing I hate about, like, getting blacked out is not remembering because I have very high anxiety. So the, the few times that I've been blacked out, I've been hell. You know, you want you 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 think the worst things. You know what I mean? And I said to him, I I don't know what you're talking about, right? Because I only have a memory of him dropping me off, me saying thank you, going upstairs, you know, giving a kiss to my grandmother, saying goodbye to the night nurse and going to bed like I, rem I remember doing all that but I don't remember anything else so he fills me in and he goes hey so are we still on for today and I was like are we still on I'm like girl who are you sure you went you took me home because I don't remember anything he goes well we made plans to rent oh my god that's really a girl to rent a golf cart and go around the island and I was like because that's what they that's pretty much what tourists do here so I was like we we did and he goes yeah but do you still want to do it? And I said, oh, sure. So I called my aunt. Because remember, I'm taking care of my grandma. I called my aunt. And she goes, go, go, go. Have fun. So I said, okay. So I think that the year I was here, I probably went out like six times, best friend. That's it. Um, so I'm telling you all the fun times because the rest is just, you know, precious times with my grandma but not like you know exciting story times I guess um so anyways 
he, well, I say yes, and he goes, but do me a favor, don't tell, don't tell anybody. And I said, okay. And he goes, can you please maybe not tell your friend? And I said, okay, oh, sure, all of them, sure. So he picks me up, best friend. And here I am, waiting for this guy. I'm hung over. He comes with some Smirnoffs. He's wearing, I remember, the cutest freaking outfit. Remember, he's like, really tall he's wearing this polo um um light blue shirt and these like white bathing suits like a white bathing suit and i'm wearing i think i'm wearing all black i always do like black except today so picks me up we go to you know we go around the island that's what tourists do here go around the island and we just talk and talk and have fun the only like red flag i have to say is that he put his music on like the little bluetooth speaker so we were literally listening to him which for like 20 minutes i didn't say anything but then i was like can we put britney or selena gomez or something please so he laughed and he's like yeah sure he goes but do you like it that's from a, a new album and i was like yeah it's fun whatever so this time and you have to understand this time I'm thinking to myself, this is weird, right? Like, this is weird. What could this mean? Why am I hanging out with this guy? Why did he tell me not to tell Oliver? Why are we hanging out in the first place? Like, he's straight. Why would he hang out with me, right? So, moral of the story, best friend, is moral of the story is that we hang on sorry there was like some people there and I got really like distracted because they're really close to the edge and I was just like literally literally I just became Karen and I just waved so they could maybe come like they're like super on the edge do you see them I don't know if you can see them where are they there they are those three things there, little light, like you see the light blue shirt and stuff, that's people. And they're really close to the edge and it's giving me anxiety. Okay. Anyways, so I found it super fucking weird, right? But anyways, we get to this like foresty place and we get off there, we, we, we you know, we go to like this beautiful sand area. It's like, it's a very like, it's not a visited place because it's very, it's like jungly. It's like a lot of bushes, but there's a beautiful little private beach there. So he says to me, you know, can we maybe like talk about what we talked about last night? Can we go back to that subject? And again, I have no idea what this man is talking about. I don't remember our conversation. So I was like, well, I said, you know, I said, well, I, I, I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know what is happening. Like, I, 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 we're not, like, I don't know. I don't know what we talked about. I don't know nothing. I was super drunk. I don't remember anything. I, I said, I usually don't black out, but I don't remember what, you know, I don't know what you're talking about. So he refreshes my memory, best friend. This is why I can't, this is why I cannot be left alone. I need like a nanny. So... Okay, girl, put in the Moana. So anyways, so he tells me that I apparently told him that I thought he was very cute and that if he ever wanted to, um, if he was curious about ever being with a guy, that I could definitely, like, help him. And I said to him, well, I said, well, listen, I don't remember. And then he said that I went off by telling him that I'm not a groupie, that I don't know his music, that I don't like his music, that I think his music um, uh, is very um, disrespectful for women. I said this whole thing, best friend, like he said that I went off on him and that that's why he offered to take me home because he liked what I had to say, but he also thought that I was not gonna be able to make it home because I was so drunk. 
So I said to him, I said, listen, I'm so sorry. I, I said that. I said, it's not in my nature. Um, I was very, very drunk. You know, I, I, I didn't, you know, mean it and I, and I apologize. So he goes, so you, so you don't like, you're not open for me to like try things with. And I said, oh, I said, are you curious? And he goes, yeah, but in the world that I live in, because of my, you know, my job, my following, my whatever, my entourage, my fans, whatever. I'm not, you know, I can't do it. And he goes, and I probably never can come out. So I said, so what, do you, I mean, I said, so what do you want to do? <laughs> and he goes, well, I'd like to maybe first have a kiss because I've never kissed a guy. And I said, okay. And I said, but how do you know that I'm not going to like go and like, you know, blab it out? And he goes, well, because drunk people tell the truth and you told me so many truths that I believe that I could trust you. And I said, okay. And he goes, but I don't, I cannot trust Oliver, but I can trust you, so please don't say anything. So I said, okay. So I said, well, let's just wait until the moment is right. This man goes and just fucking kisses me. Best friend, it felt like a tornado in my mouth. This man did not know what to do with his tongue it was like he was, I felt like I was in a dental exam. Like I felt like he was trying to find cavities, like he was trying to find, taste the last thing I fucking ate. Like it was the craziest kiss I've ever, like I don't mind like a passionate kiss with tongue, you know, when you're in passion. But this man was just like entered my, all my mouth, like up here, down, everywhere, bitch. I'm like, girl, maybe you should not be good like a don't start and just be a dentist because obviously you want to fucking door the explore my teeth so um so i i backed out because it felt too much and i said i'm i i'm sorry but uh, it's you're too rough you know, oh fuck i'm sorry it's just i'm just you know used to this is how i kiss it my bad kisser and i said well I mean, since you appreciate my truth, I, I, I don't think you're a good kisser. I think you're very, I think you have a lot of passion, but I think it's very like, this is too much. So anyways, we practice some more. And I, listen, for me, you guys have to understand, right? I, I don't have many of these stories. I've shared quite a few with you guys, but I mean, I could tell you it's less than 10 stories with guys that I have because I, I never really explored so much before I got I got married very young so I didn't explore with, with with multiple guys the stories I tell you for me you know are very cherished because you know they're like my my single love stories right before I got married so for me like even being in that type of situation well was very special to me so he we kissed and, and I'm starting to get kind of excited, you know, because I don't know, like, I thought it was kind of cool. So we did end up dating, best friend, but secretly. And this is sort of where everything kind of goes to shit. For about a good month, we were literally dating. I mean, he would pick me up, he would travel outside, he would come back to the island, he would, you know, for a good month, we, maybe a little more actually, maybe like a month and something. He met my grandmother. Um, he would bring her like little pastries sometimes. Um, sometimes I couldn't go out because there was no night nurse or, or someone to take care of my grandmother. So he would stay there with me and he would, you know, we would hang out a lot. He respected my rule, my two month rule. And it was just, it was just very, special best friend he did sleep over like three times nothing happened but he did sleep over and he would help me like with my grandmother like it was very 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 nice i have to say well um we did have to keep things a secret because obviously you know he didn't want to tell anybody blah 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 so he and i became very close very very fast and we shared a lot with each other and because we weren't intimate sexually we had more time to explore our feelings right and our like spiritual side and everything and and actually one thing that really bothers me 
is that we did talk about like being in a relationship so much that he told me that he probably was never able to come out, but that he was very, very capable and willing to be in a relationship with me, but it was always had to be secret. Now, later in the month in our relationship, we went out one night and again, 20 people around him, uh, entourage, you know, girls, and there was this one girl that was just always, anytime she would come in, see him, she would just be obsessed with him. And she would sit on his lap, and I was, I would sit there, like, you know, in the in the room, and just watch him with her a couple times, and then all of a sudden they just start making out. And I didn't know how to feel about that, best friend. I was just like, hmm, this is weird. Didn't feel right, even though he said that he has to keep up appearances and stuff. But one night, remember uh, that friend Oliver I told you about? Well, he had another friend, another guy, and he told me, basically told me that he saw the guy with me. I mean, he saw the guy with another guy. And I was like, what do you mean you saw him with another guy? And he goes, yeah, I actually saw him with another guy and they were making out. Did you know that he was gay? Like, he has to be gay. Why is he making out with another guy? And I said, are you sure that was him? And he goes, yeah, I saw them behind this like bar. So it was happening as we were like, as we were speaking. So I said, where is he now? And he goes, he's behind him in a bar and I said oh okay well I'm gonna go so luckily like the day nurse was there and she uh she was still there and she kind of like I, I told her I'm like hey can you hang out I'm gonna go uh really quickly to the store I said I go to that bar okay I go to that bar and what you uh, surprise? Ah, what is that? Oh, it's just a vine. Girl, I'm not Dora the Explorer. Surprise, surprise. He was in the table with like three other people and that one guy that my friend said he saw him with. The description fit him perfectly. So I said to him, I said, hey, can we talk for a second? Wow. I said to him, I'm here. Oh, by the way, though, this is very like true, uh, true uh, Sebastian. Sometimes I need to hear music to kind of like put me in the mood. So from the apartment to like the bar area where he was, I was listening to like Stronger Than Yesterday by Britney Spears. So I was literally like, Stronger Than Yesterday. And I'm just like, you know, pissed off. I'm trying to get like the strength, you know. So I'm hyped. And I go to him and I said, were you kissing another guy? And he goes, oh. He goes, who told you? And I said, well, somebody saw you. And he, and he goes, oh shit, I gotta be more careful. And I was like, excuse you? What do you mean you gotta be more careful? That's what you have to say? And he goes, yeah. You know, and I said, well, you know what? I'm here to tell you that whatever this was, it's no more. And he goes, why? Like, I told you that it can't be nothing serious. And I said, well, you just told me that you had to keep up appearances and my dumbass agreed because I don't want to pressure you into coming out. But I did not expect you to be kissing another random guy, you know, behind a fucking bar with where people can see you and obviously they saw you. And on top of it, you know, you lied to me. So he goes, what we have is special, but like, you know, I, I have to explore and I have to get to know myself. And I said, okay, well you go ahead and you explore and you get to know yourself and that's it. So I tell you, best friend, 
What pissed me off the most was that I allowed this fucking asshole inside my home, you know, to meet my family, you know, and, and I also allowed myself to not have any dignity and go along with him and, and his, you know, scared, you know, of coming out bullshit, right? Which I get it, it's very real, it's very valid, but if I am respecting you, then you fucking should respect me. You know what I mean? So for, for I mean, for me, I just felt, you know what, I felt very taken advantage of. So I was just like, fuck that, okay? So I walked away, he called me a bunch, he did come by, the door Downstairs, he said, Your friend is here, and I said, Please tell me that I'm not home. Um, we saw each other, uh, we saw each other quite a lot more in the supermarket, like randomly. And you know, you're probably gonna be a little disappointed in me, but I was going through a lot mentally here, and I felt very oh my god, hang on, my 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 thing. I felt very alone here. So I, hang on, girl. I felt very alone here. So when he apologized and apologized and apologized, I, I accepted it. I accepted his apology. I know. I accepted his apology. He comes over, we talk, he sugarcoats my ears, and we did hang out a little bit more, but he did honestly tell me that he was not ready for a monogamous situation. And he goes, listen, if, if you could, he said, listen, if you could accept that I, you know, will hang out with other people, then we could, you know, be together. And I said, I'm sorry, but that's just something I'm not comfortable. And, you know, that's it. And right now best friend he is married he has children um i obviously never spoke to him again i i mean not about like love like if we if we saw each other around the island we would be like you know very like whatever um that that's the issue with me best friend is that i've always been a romantic i've always been somebody who wants love and I've never been into one night stands. I've never been into, you know, having sexual things very quick because I get very emotionally attached. So, like I told you guys yesterday, I do feel like maybe, maybe I should have been a little more open, but at the same time, I just don't regret it, you know? And had I given myself to this guy, I would have been even more disappointed and sad. So I'm very happy with the decisions that I've made. Um, and I will say to you, best friend, like I get to say I dated like a famous guy, you know, like a, a famous straight reggaetonero, which, you know, feels good. Um, I do feel bad because he is married, he has children. I obviously know that he likes men, but that's a journey he has to take, you know? Um, he moved out of the island, so I have not seen him in probably over 10 years. Um, I have heard of him and I've been asked about him, uh, but, and I've seen him, but we don't, you know, there's no communication. Uh, but if he watches my videos, Sorry, Mauricio. Um, you know who you are. But yes, best friend, that is the story. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I made a very long one because I know today's Sunday and I know that sometimes we feel kind of alone on Sunday so I wanted to make a long one for you guys. Um, and this was a this was a long one. I gave you more detail than I usually do because I don't want to bore you too much. But I'm grateful you chose my videos. Um, I'm just worried that when I like run out of situations, I'm like, girl, what am I going to talk about? But then I think to myself, I said, Sebastian, you know, the good thing is you have gotten yourself into so many messes that is not only like romantic stuff. I have a lot of fun, adventure, scary story times that I'm excited to share with you guys as well. But this island brings me to these romantic memories because I had a lot of my first here. Um, the next one I'm going to tell you about, best friend, is kind of a dark one where a friend of my uncle's uh, made a move at me and it got very dark. So I will, I'm going to share that one next because I do think it's important for me to talk about. That's the story time I told you guys that I wasn't sure if I should share, but I just feel like letting it all out. So I love you all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for caring. Thank you for taking the time to watch, you know, these type of videos and stuff. I, I, I'm so honored and grateful that you guys even want to hear about my private life. So I really do appreciate it. And I love you all so much. And I will see you guys in my next video.